mean, I can honestly say that this game, I mean, the last game I was really proud of and I thought was really good, this game blows that one out of the water. And um, instead of just sort of resting on our laurels and doing a typical sequel, we really we revamped the, uh, the game engine completely, the graphics engine, the technology, as well as adding a ton more uh, gameplay um, in terms of modes that, within the single player experience that the, the, the player can experience using stealth, things like that, expanded the melee combat, I mean everything we could think of to expand and of course one of our major features which we've been starting to show to people is the fact that we've got uh, more gameplay on like uh, big moving set piece objects. We showed the big collapsing building at E3 and uh, I mean we got gameplay on, on, on moving vehicles like trains and convoys of trucks and all that kind of stuff and it just makes the experience that much more cinematic. I've been personally focused completely on the single player experience and it's from what I can tell with all playtesting we've done it's at least a third bigger longer than the previous game. Um, I mean just cinematics alone we've almost doubled the size of the non-interactive cutscenes um, in the game. Uh, we've got a, basically a feature film, uh, a, f a longer single player experience, multiplayer co-op. I mean it's, uh, it's, an, it's a, quite an incredible package. I really can say to people and if there's any fears out there alleviate them that again everything we did well in the first game we've done in spades in this one and what, what was our, our core focus in the previous game was the fact that we're telling a character driven story and that we wanted the characters to feel authentic especially Nate and that we wanted to have that sort of action adventure movie pacing that just drew the player through the experience so that such that people often played in one sitting because they couldn't put the controller down um, and we are, we're providing that even more than we did last time. When we set about to write the story and then cast the game, it was really important, we knew, to uh, have the characters around Nate really reflect different aspects of his character because, of course, we wanted him to seem even more fully realized than he was in the first game and really dig into who this guy is a little bit more, who he is when he's not on the adventure. Um, you know, both the shady aspects of his character as well as the heroic aspects. And to do that, I mean, just like it's this, you know, sort of storytelling 101 or filmmaking 101 is, you know, you've got to have a good cast of characters around them that all sort of reflect these different facets of the character and challenge them in different ways. You know, obviously we want to tell a story that has uh, a lot of um, movement in it, so there's sort of a, what we call sort of a die-hard aspect of the game in the sense that you, once you're kind of thrust into the adventure, we want you to be on that ride in a way that doesn't feel like there's a lot of downtime for the characters. And, and you know, we get to that point about, you know, about a third of the way through where it's just sort of like you're just sort of going and it's you're getting propelled through the adventure but but we also in this game wanted to feel like we had a little bit more globe trotting you know and that this game takes us everywhere from Turkey to Borneo to Nepal to way up in the Himalayas and then all different environments within those spaces there's way more variety than there was in the last game because of course we limited ourselves to that island somewhat you know in this sort of jungly ruins on this island which which was cool but uh, it's kind of fun to be able to sweep across a continent like that. I think we've been sort of saying that maybe the balance is something like 60-40 gunplay and adventuring, and actually after our playtesting, I think it might actually tip a little bit the other way, which is nice, I think, for people, because they want to know that there is problem solving and exploration and adventure and um, on top of all the combat and stuff and, and, and there are definitely a lot of modes in the game um, that, that take us through that sort of classic action adventure movie experience and everything from you know fighting on the moving vehicles and, and but also exploring ancient temples and all that all that good stuff. I mean the PlayStation 3 hardware is amazingly powerful and um, it's something that we were able to tap into just a little bit I think on the last game and people always laugh when you throw out numbers and you think this if was this really measurable it actually is, you know, the performance, and, and I think we said before we're probably using about a third of the power of the PS3 this time, and this time we've maxed it out. Last time it uh, was about 30%, and this time we've maxed it out. Um, and it's absolutely true, because what we did first thing was take a lot of the processes that we were doing on the main processor and shift them onto the SPUs and figure out how to get it firing on all cylinders, essentially, and that's a really apt analogy. Um, so a lot of our animations, our special effects, I mean, our audio, all this stuff is getting done through the SPUs so that the main processor can really focus on getting all that richness in the backgrounds and, and, and it, I think you can see that it feels almost like a, a hardware generation jump between Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2 which I think is one of the most surprising things for people is that the graphic quality and the, the detail and the, and the, and the, the density of, of, of things going on in the backgrounds and the detail of the characters and all that seems like it's such, such a leap um, and it's only because we were able to really now uh, you know 
take everything we could out of the PS3. And then, and as far as the capacity, to, we've absolutely filled the, the Blu-ray disc to, to capacity. We constantly like having to figure out how we're going to get everything on there. And so, um, I mean, I think it shows. I think this game really shows off just what an amazing piece of hardware this is. And you know, I, I think people have wondered, you know, is it hard to program for all that? It's like, you know, it takes a little bit of, of work to figure out how you can take advantage of it. Once you've taken advantage of the SPUs, it's 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 just mind blowing how much you can you can push through that thing. The response so far to the game has been phenomenal, and it's it's really gratifying.